hey hey party people welcome back to my channel i have just gotten home from the gym had a shower and i can't be the only one but every time i finish having a shower after the gym i'm freezing so i've decided to make me a tea i'm trying to choose healthier teas because i'm making better life choices apparently so we'll see how this tastes i'm just gonna let it brew in here but today i wanted to speak a little bit about content creation and why i think influencing isn't dead content creation is so let me explain i can't be the only one that finds it so hard to find things to watch now i genuinely feel as though every time i am trying to watch any piece of content it isn't content it's advertisement the entire thing is someone just trying to sell and flog me different stuff i saw a tweet where it was like every influencer has become the able lady and it's so true because there's this idea or there's this thing now where when content first started everyone was creating content you know they were making videos vlogs or whatever it may be then influencing and this idea of getting paid and brand deals came after and at the heart it was still content it was still hey guys let me show you this hey let me show you that whatever it may be i feel as though now at the very heart of content is influencing is trying to sell you something to the point right where when i watch some vlogs someone will have the camera say it's my phone they'll be like this and any single thing that the phone comes into contact with, anything that comes into the frame, is, oh, this cupboard, will I go from here? This jacket, will I go from here? This, will I go from here? I'm just like, what exists outside of the advertisement? What exists outside? If it was a pie chart, I always feel like the content should be more than the advertising. But now I feel as though the entirety of the video is just to vlog stuff just to be like this is where you can get this from this is where you can get this from and over the past two weeks i have seen it like none other i've gone off tiktok because i feel like that's what everyone does and having survived 2016 makeup skincare era i just know the majority of it is absolute bullshit it's products that you never see people use again they have it in that first video they're taking it out of the packet and they're telling you oh it lasts for 12 hours you haven't even looked at it for 12 seconds how are you telling me that it lasts for 12 hours like there is just no genuine honesty when it comes to the influencing behind it and that just has taken such a huge hit on the content side so like i said over the past two weeks i was just trying to find things on youtube to watch things that i really love and enjoy like laid back videos just people talking just people living life you know what i mean things that you're able to identify with and I cannot tell you how the majority of it was almost just consumed by telling people, the viewers, what to buy, where to buy it, and why it's so good to buy it. And let me let me get let me not get it twisted, right? Because I don't completely understand the entirety of content creation, whatever it may be. But I've been an observer and a viewer for many years now, and. I get that this is a way that people make money. I get that this is a way that people make so much money. But at what cost? Do you know what I mean? And what I... <laughs> at what cost? Because your advertising, your influencing in the content creation makes your content unbearable. I can't watch it. No one can watch it anymore. And it's just... You're just a billboard. You are just a green screen for different brands to plot themselves, I don't know why I have a toothbrush here, to plot themselves on and for you to tell people to buy it. There's no honesty, there's no, oh, I've worn it for 10 hours, this is how it looks like. I've used it for three weeks, this is how it feels like. Some people can't even say they don't like a product. Some people can't even say a simple thing as, it doesn't work for me. How is whatever, how is anything that you say believable? And why would people watch it? I feel like the only things that exist now, whether it's real content creation, are your highly produced super production, 17 different cameras, everything type of content. And that content, I think, is geared towards a very younger audience. I don't know what exists now, whether it is just a normal sit down video just people expressing aspects of their life that 
identify with things and this is not me saying that all brand deals are bad i watch so many different content creators and i love some of them i'm so happy when they get brand deals it's when your content doesn't exist anymore your entire content is framed around trying to sell a product and that is when things just become boring and lackluster and i don't know i think there's even a lot of conversation talking about how like influencer marketing is dead or whatever it may be. It's just that people are not trustworthy anymore. And I'd rather go into the shops, I'd rather there is barely anyone that I can I can buy a product from based off of their recommendation alone. I will go into the shops, I will feel, I will touch, I will smell, I will try on and see whether it works for me first and foremost. But yeah, let me know what your views are because I genuinely feel as though everyone is in their attempts to be an influencer and influencing because that's where the bread is, that's where the money is. But content creation, genuinely having a love for creating any form of content is what is truly dead now. But let me know what you think.